Figured I'd do just a little video. Uh, I, I thought about putting this on my entertainment channel because I haven't posted there for a while, but I figured I'd do it on the main channel. Uh, man, it's it's been tough for me for, for gaming. Um, I, I'm, I'm an avid gamer, but finding things that are going to pique my interest are few and far between. And um, it's been a while since a game just really got me in and I wanted to play and right now, I'm, I'm really itching for the next generation of online RPGs. MMOs are just even cooperative online RPGs. Um, I've talked about this, so this is going to be repeating myself for those that like follow me on Twitch when we really get to talking about games. But I really need a like the I, I love RPGs, obviously, but more importantly, I love good combat systems. OK. And for me, I like games that require me to think. I don't like the tab tab stuff. Um, I like live response, true gameplay that is uh, it requires you to think and require has a level of skill to it. A lot of MMOs fake their action RPG in the live response stuff. Desert Black Desert Online is one of the big where you know, hey, I can do all this cool stuff, but the enemies are just idiotic. It's not really I'm fighting. Like it's nothing that requires me. It doesn't have, let's say, the level of like a uh, like a Souls game on an offline, um, though those have online elements with summoning and stuff. But more so, I'm speaking to like in the, it built into the combat system is a level of talent and you have to have reaction speed and all that. And the game is uh, it's not forgiving in, in, in that aspect. And I'm looking for the next games that are going to give me that. And there's one in particular that really caught my eye. That is going to be, it looks like, an MMO. And I'm going to show you guys here if you haven't heard about it. It's called Chrono Odyssey. And you'll see some of the gameplay. I think this is built on Unreal. There's a couple of others that, uh, this piques my interest the most, but there's a couple of others that I think are being built by um, off of the new Unreal Engine, the most recent Unreal Engine. And that's what the MMO genre really needs. It needs the next generation. Really a lot, pretty much every action-based combat system. Uh, we haven't got that next generation. But look how good that looks. We haven't got the next generation of, 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 of that genre. Let's say that. It's, it's been a while since you've seen a game like, okay, this is going to set the scene for four years to come. Not necessarily we haven't. We've seen good games. Perhaps nine out of ten games. But not like... Okay, this pushed the envelope. And this looks like it's finally at least enhancing the 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 MMO. Um and we'll see what it does. But you're going to see some action or some gameplay here. And and this is what I've looked for. I've looked for something that's going to really pique my interest in having some sort of combat system that it's almost souls like, but it's actually built for a with that online rpg and the customization aspect uh in mind not just a a game that happens to be an rpg that's online this game is built off of being exactly that right and chrono odyssey seems to be something that we're going to get out of and it has a lot of the elements of rpgs that a lot of us like but what i'm hoping and praying for is that these enemies aren't just complete, pr completely brainless and I'm not like, hey, just playing games for the sake. Look at that. That looks like this game just looks absolutely insane. And it does seem to be maybe some weight in the punches, weight in the in the weapon usage, weight in what it is that you're doing, which really, again, this genre absolutely needs. But we'll see if it's if it's gimmicky or not, because that's where. Again, Black Desert Online, that's where they get gimmicky. It's like, hey, look at this trailer where you're doing all this cool stuff, and then you actually play the game, and it's like, these enemies are stupid, man. This is this is not really a live response action RPG. But Chrono Odyssey is one. And it's funny, as I talk about these single-player games, uh, there's rumors, you know, that maybe there'll be a cooperative element of it, but I think a lot of it's been knocked down. And this is one single-player, though. A lot of single-player games are starting to bore me to death. Um, some people are completely opposite. I, I, I like competition. I like the cooperative aspect of games. Um, and I can handle my single player games in spurts. This may be my next one that I will be intrigued by. And that is the Dragon's Dogma, which got announced not too long ago, too. Now, Dragon's Dogma, and you maybe saw my post on Twitter and YouTube where I said, man, the, the action RPG genre in terms of the combat system has not grown. And I think Dragon's Dogma 
correct me if I'm wrong, the first one was like an Xbox 360 thing. And one thing that I did really like, not only, again, going back to what I was just saying before, with like the weight of, 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 of what it is that you're doing. But what I really enjoyed about Dragon's Dogma was that when you were fighting enemies that were massive, it felt like you were fighting enemies that were massive. I could climb them. I could, in some cases, chop limbs off. So there's differentiation in the gameplay itself, even that is primarily determined by even like the size of the actual enemy. And a lot of games don't do that. You know, uh, Elden Ring, as much as we love Elden Ring, the gameplay is largely the same. They, the enemies get to do all the cool stuff, jumping off of walls and stuff, and that's fine. But you as a, as a actual character, you're going to fight a little enemy soldier the same exact way that you're going to fight one of those massive dragons. And I'm sitting here nipping at his toes with my, with my, uh, with my attacks. And I'm like, well, I mean, you mean to tell me we haven't grown from that yet? And I'm not saying it needs to be like arcadey where I'm going through like some quick time events and stuff. When, no, I'm saying like you can build skill in that element, but give me the option to be able to scale this, this enemy that is 100 times my size. So Dragon's Dogma does seem like they're picking up where they, le where they left off. And I'm very, very excited about it so those are two games that are on my radar i'd love to know if you got other games that i know a lot of people are excited about um definitely if, if you got recommendations if uh for some stuff to keep keep your eyes on that are in the online multiplayer sense let me know i love to know your thoughts if you enjoyed this video and want to support other content please become a member at ericdjuly.com this is my own unique platform that replaced my patreon our Ultra Max, which is our highest tier, gets free shipping domestically even with Ripperverse orders and are able to redeem the Creator's Edition copy of ISOM number one. You can move up and down tiers or cancel at any time. Also visit Ripperverse.com. This is my comic book company that launched a $3.7 million campaign. We appreciate your support.